Hello everyone, welcome back to Slides to Coasters. My name of course is Brandon Waterparker, and we are back at it yet again, talking about some brand new, uh, some brand new interesting information coming out of Kentucky Kingdom. So, let me take you guys back a couple months ago. We originally got rumors and there was filings for a new RMC single rail to come to Kentucky Kingdom with the FAA. Well, those plans never came to fruition. Uh, from what we know, from what we understand, there has been a lot of interesting items that have come out afterwards. You know, people talking about the fact that, like, okay, uh, there's supposedly Vacoma that they're talking about at their event, and then there's rumor that someone made a bid to purchase the park, which, you know, I didn't really hear much about. There wasn't a lot of conversations, there wasn't a lot of discussions, but there was a rumor. There was a rumor that there was uh, someone being bought out, and a, a lot of people started talking about it more often. I personally didn't, just because the way that I look at things, I don't want to be wrong and give you guys faulty inf false information or faulty information. I want to be as accurate as possible. So, as we've been looking at where we're at, as we've been looking at where we're going, uh, basically where we're at right now is we have a uh, map that's been posted by the great people over at Kentucky Kingdom with a lot of these uh, locations. Of course, on the, and of course, there's going to be a description uh, video. Click on that. Go to the one second mark. It's a little bit dark, it's brighten up the screen a little bit, but you're going to want to do this to follow uh, with me here. So on the top left corner, we have a maple leaf. Bottom right corner, we have a log, right? And then we have this map of various locations around what is perceivably the Midwest and, you know, for the most part, the eastern uh, United States. So we have a location up here which looks like New Jersey, a location in Northern Kentucky, a location in Louisville, which is Kentucky Kingdom, a location which seems to be uh, Pigeon Forge, uh, one that seems to be closer to Atlanta, one in, near Columbus, uh, uh, Georgia, one which looks like Silver Dollar City, another location which I personally cannot figure out which one that is because that is very extremely close to Texas, which kind of threw me off. Um... But nevertheless, I'm not really going to worry about that. Our main focus here today is the fact that there is this map here. And we don't really know what's going on. We don't know what's happening. And what I really want to do is kind of talk about what this map could entail. Because I actually looked up a certain theme park chain, uh, a family entertainment chain that has similar locations. Um, of course, these all correspond except for one location, which I believe I might have just found. Uh, no, I have not. So these all, for the most part, correspond with locations that Hershen Family Entertainment owns. Okay? So Hershen Family Entertainment owns Newport Aquarium, which is in Newport, Kentucky. That's at Northern Kentucky, so that's that little blip right next to uh, Kentucky Kingdom. You got Sodar City over to the far left. Uh, the other location, I don't really know. That looks a lot like maybe, possibly Dallas Fort Worth, maybe, possibly somewhere around uh, Waco. I don't really know. It's a little bit out there. There's no true locations that I can find personally that make sense. Um, but nevertheless, we also have down near Columbus, Georgia, there's a location uh, that is called, if I can get it back up here, uh, Callaway Resort and Gardens. Then you look forward to... Uh, to the Atlanta location, that's actually their uh, headquarters. They're headquartered in Norcross, Georgia, which is a little bit above Atlanta. Then you go all the way up here to New Jersey, and that is where Adventure Aquarium is, is Camden, New Jersey. Uh, that's what I can personally tell. That's what I'm getting personally. What does this mean? 
why are they putting this out here? Well, it could be one of two things. First thing, this could be an indication that uh, that Hirschman Family Entertainment has actually purchased the chain, the park. Uh, I say chain as in you know the water park and theme park, but it's being it's been bought. That's one way to look at it. Now. Of course, there are uh, about six question marks, so that's a date. So that would be like something, 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 something. Could this be that they're announcing that Hirsch and Family Entertainment is buying out the park? I don't know. But here's some more credence to why I believe it's Hirsch and Family Entertainment. The maple leaf on the top left is exactly like the maple leaf in their logo. Then you've got that piece of log wood right there, right? Well, Silver Dollar City's uh, logo has a log that looks eerily similar to that log right there. When we go and look at the main, you know, again, if you look at theater mode, there's not a lot else that we can really look at and use per se. Um, at least for myself, maybe there is for you. Uh, but it seems as if to me that Hirschman Family Entertainment has bought out the park. I am also inclined to believe that with this purchase, more than likely, I wouldn't be surprised if we are still getting the single rail. I wouldn't be surprised that was already purchased because they already put in the work order probably. I think that they will probably get the coaster. And I think that the park will transfer to Hirschman Family Entertainment. Or this could be one big giant ploy by Kentucky Kingdom. Because there's that one last location that I cannot find. I've, If you guys don't know, I do a lot of investigative journalism whenever I do these shows. I actually go on in and look at what we've got. I look at where the parks are and the locations uh, on this map. I took about 10 minutes um, doing investigative work. I found everything. Besides that one location, which seems to be somewhere, uh, somewhere really far out there. Uh, but, you know, who knows? That could be a location that I'm just overlooking. Uh, it could just be me being an idiot and just overlooking one uh, location that I might have just not seen. Um... Uh, but with that being said, for the most part, most of these locations match up pretty well. Um, as well, up in uh, near Atlanta, there is a... Um, no, we're not going to talk about that. That's fine. Just in general, for myself, I think this is a great uh, option if Kentucky Kingdom actually was bought out by Hurston. Because I love Hurston Family Entertainment Parks. I do. I love Dollywood. I really want to go to Silver Dollar City. Wild Adventures is an amazing park. This is the kind of park that I can see the chain purchasing and working with. With that in mind, let's also remember that this could be a ploy by the park. This could be a way for them to say, no, we didn't we didn't take it. We didn't go for it. Uh, we're putting in a brand new coaster because, yeah, why not? We don't know yet. It could be that the park was sold. They have an amazing me social media team. And if they're going to say that they got purchased, that's the direction that they would go. Here's my issue, though. Here's exactly where I'm at with this whole entire deal. This park is very landlocked. This park has no really no room to grow. I don't know how I feel about Hershen Family or any park uh, chain buying out this park because it's going to be very, very extremely tight. Um, I don't know. We could have something brand new coming up or this could be a big giant ploy because, again, like I said before, just based off of the locations that they're giving on this map, 
the last location at the very, very far left makes zero sense to me. And from what I can tell, the double circles are theme parks, amusement parks. So you got Silver Dollar City, Kentucky Kingdom, Dollywood. But what's this third one? The third one makes no sense. The last time I checked, they don't have anything in that region of Texas. You know, there's no there's no theme park owned by Hirsch and family unless if there's something that's going to be coming out soon that they bought a theme park. Which, if that's the case, they could have. Although it's very, very far out. Um, in fact, this is extremely far out, and that would make zero sense because... I don't think that they would have because the direction that this river is going, it could be. It could be the fact they might have bought another park and we just don't know about it yet. So, I don't know. We're going to have to see what's going on. Uh, Kentucky Kingdom, obviously, they have some information about something that's coming. We have not seen any uh, announcements from Hirsch and Family Entertainment. Uh, last time I checked, I've not seen any major news pieces come out. However, I wouldn't put it past a park chain to go and buy this uh, park. It's already within a general distance between uh, Newport Aquarium and Kentucky Kingdom. They can create a ticket package. That will be amazing. Uh, the aquarium itself, you know, it's a great aquarium, but... I feel as if they were to have a dual ticket season pass program, I would buy it because I go to the Newport Aquarium. Uh, I really enjoy that aquarium. I enjoy the location. I enjoy Kentucky Kingdom too. So we got a lot of stuff to look at here, and I'm really excited to check out what's going on. Of course, we will keep you posted right here on Slides to Coasters. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is Hirsch and Family Entertainment coming out and saying that they bought the park? Or do you think it's just a ruse for Kentucky Kingdom's brand new RMC? Leave your thoughts and a comment down below. Uh, maybe it's not an RMC. I don't know. I'm thinking it's an RMC, hopefully. Uh, with that being said, stay tropical. We'll see you guys in the next one.